Standard 3 Beginning with Computer Chapter 2 In this lesson, we will learn the main hardware and software components of a computer. Hello friends! Are you ready to learn now? Yes, we learn that software and hardware. Friends, what do we need to live? Yes, of course, we need water and food. Likewise, you should know how a computer works and what are the needs to do the work. Yes, of course, computer need hardware and software to do the work. I think you are eager to know about computer. Okay, fine. I'll explain it. What is hardware and software? And you know the examples of this. Keyboard, mouse, monitor, printer, etc. These physical components are the examples of hardware. Software, Ejubundu, text paint, jedit, decomprise, etc. These set of instructions are the examples of software and you can't touch the software. For example, your teacher asks you take your notebook, write down the heading, etc. These instructions for you to do the work. Do you know what are the two parts of the software? Application software and system software. Next, we can learn about the two parts of the software. Do you know what is that? That's application software and system software. Let's start learn about application and system software. Get ready. Okay. Application software. It is used to perform specific works for a user such as draw pictures, do calculations, play games, etc. Text paint, jedit are the examples of application software. System software. It helps to start the computer system and controls the working of a computer. DOS, Windows 7, Linux, Mac OS. These operating systems are the examples of system software. What is operating system? Didn't have you heard this word anywhere else? Okay, it acts as a mediator between user and computer without an operating system. The computer can't work. GNU Linux is one of the popular free operating system. I'll tell you one more interesting point. The actions that you have learned now, desktop, icons, launcher, dash, home and menu bar. Just look in the opened Ejubundu are display on the screen, I think. Desktop, it's a home screen of an operating system. Icons, it's a small picture and represents an application program. You can select the icon by click one time. Launcher. It's a long vertical bar on the left side of the desktop. Dash Home. It's just like a start menu. If you want to open any application, you just click on the dash icon. Menu Bar. Have you seen Menu Bar? What is it? Okay. I will show you. The dark strip on the top of the desktop is called menu bar. Friends, can you open a calculator application through the dash icon? Okay, don't worry. I'll teach you. Let's see how it is open. Take the following steps to open. Step 1. Click on dash icon. The dash home appears. Step 2. Type calculator in the search bar. Step 3. Click on the icon to open it. The window will be displayed. Then, how is it working? Okay, 
Let's see the working of the calculator with an example. See the steps to add 5 and 3. Step 1. Click on the button 5. Step 2. Click on the button plus. Step 3. Click on the button 3. Step 4. Click on the button. Now you can see the result as 8 on the screen. Friends, do you want to draw a picture and listen to the music at the same time to do calculations also? Is it really working simultaneously? Of course, it's a fantastic task. Okay, let's see the multitasking. Take the following steps. Multitasking. First of all, you should know the following these buttons. What is the use of it and where is it located in the window? It is used to minimize the window to the taskbar. It is used to enlarge the window to its full size. It is used to close an application. These buttons are located at the top of the screen. Step 1. Open text paint and start drawing. Step 2. Open videos and select music file then play it. Then minimize the window by pressing minimize button. Step 3. Next, you can open the calculator and do calculations. Step 4. After the calculations, you can close the window by press close button. Step 5. Then click maximize button the pane window to enlarge it to the full screen size and continue your drawing. Okay, wonderful. Friends, try to find more exercise with the help of your teacher.